Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what's better than overloaded methods? The params keyword. Now a method's parameters can take a variable number of arguments if we use the params keyword, and the parameter type must be a single dimensional array. What's the benefit of this? Let me explain. So let's say that we have an online store. We have a method to check out where we will basically sum up a customer's prices and return a total and we'll tell the customer you have to pay this total. What if the person checking out has a variable number of items that they would like to buy? Well, we would have to set up a bunch of different methods like what if they only buy one item? Well, there's a checkout method that accepts one argument, another checkout method that accepts two arguments, then three, and then we continue on and on and on. So yeah, don't do this. A better solution would be to use this params keyword where we only need a single method and this one single method can accept a varying number of arguments. We don't need like several copies of the same method then. So to use the params keyword, precede our data type with the word params. Then after the data type, follow this with a set of square brackets. Now this parameter A is now an array I'm going to name this as something a little more descriptive like prices because we're working with prices. So we need to iterate over the elements of an array and create a total. So I'm going to create a local variable named double total. So you can have variables with the same name, but they need to be within a different scope. So these are in different methods, so they are not visible to each other. Double total, I will set this equal to zero to begin with and we'll use a for each loop to iterate over the elements of this array. For each double price in prices, total equals total plus whatever price we're working with, but I'll shorten this to plus equals price. Then at the end, we will return total, and this should work the same. Okay, the total price is $24.74, but there's some formatting that we'll have to do in a future video. And then I can just keep on adding items to my, you know, fictional shopping cart. Like I would like to buy a bottle of water for a dollar and a t-shirt for $10.25. So you see by using this params keyword, a single method can accept a varying amount of arguments. So method overloading isn't always necessary if you're working with a lot of different arguments. You're not really sure how many arguments are going to be passed in. Okay then everybody, that is the params keyword. It can be applied to a method parameter so that it can accept a variable number of arguments, but the parameter type must be a single dimensional array. And that is the params keyword. If you can, help me out by smashing that like button, drop a random comment down below, and well, yeah, that's the params keyword in C-sharp.